Se non sapete qual è il vostro gommone ideale... If you can't decide which rib is best for you, this model might help you choose. The Adrenaline 7 is the smallest in the most aggressive series produced by the Italian builder Lomac. It's 7 meters, 22 centimeters long and 280 centimeters wide. So today we are trying out the Adrenaline 7, which has a 200 horsepower Yamaha engine and its 2.8 litre model 16 valve with four inline cylinders, twin camshaft, it's got electronic ignition and variable timing. The designer of this sporty pneumatic boat is Federico Fiorentino, who, in comparison with the rest of the series, has changed the measurements, but not the line or the style. Whoever buys it can change the colours, textiles and choose the accessories, remembering not to weigh it down. That would be like putting a fridge and two more doors on a Porsche. The Adrenaline 7 is lovely how it is, with just the essentials, which are already more than enough. The bow has a winch. The sun deck has to have an added deck so you can stretch out enough. The area under the console can turn into a little bathroom. The welcoming living area at the stern has a deep seat, so you can lie back. Lifting up some of the cushions, you can take out a sunshade. And to get to the swim area, you can go along the corridor on the right. The kitchen unit has a fridge, a fold-down table which you can set in different ways. It's all been done with higher quality materials. Another reason the price is like the name Adrenaline. It starts at 40,000 euros and that's excluding an engine. In some ways I think this boat's like a supercar, but we know that sports cars have the smallest boots that barely fit in a toothbrush. Here, there's loads of space, which doesn't mean we have to fill it. That would mean performance would suffer. Can you see the two lightning bolts? They remind you of the bottom of the transom. It takes its original lines from the competition ribs and serve to reinforce the area where the engine is fixed. The whole dunnage and bowsprit is gorgeous, so well designed. The aerodynamic console protects the driver's seat, which is wide enough for two people and has nice raised edges. The sunshade is a little cupola with its own deflector. This brand name makes you want to go for it, but if the whole family was with me, I'd want it to be steady, which it is, because right now we're going nine knots and the boat is already planing. This means that the weight is even and that the hull is correctly equilibrated. The sea today is being anything but easy. The waves are long, dead, but still pretty high, which will prove trying through this test. Now, with a bit more power, I'll take it up to 3,000 revs. It's consuming 15 litres at 15 knots, one mile, one litre. Ora ho scelto un'andatura di crociera di 20 nodi e il consumo è sceso a... I've chosen to go at a cruising speed of 20 knots and consumption has fallen to 18 litres, which means consumption has gone up per hour but down per mile. If I go faster, I save petrol. That's because the regression for this boat at this speed is minor, so there's less resistance. The boat is more efficient. 
Eccoci a un'andatura di crociera di 25 nodi. Now here, a 25 knots and a consumption of 25 litres an hour. We've come back to a litre a mile. Il serbatoio dell'adrenalina 7.0 contiene 220 litri di carburante. The petrol tank on the adrenaline holds 220 litres of petrol. So if you want to do a major trip, you know you can go as far as 220 miles. Adesso però per me è arrivato. Now though the time's arrived to forget all about consumption and peacefulness. Whoever goes for an adrenaline wants to be going at a cruising speed of 30 knots, as it's only then that the engine is revving at 4,800 revs a minute, which is in the range when we can hold it for an unlimited time without the danger of it overheating. Do you want to see how it handles the waves at 30 knots? Mi impressiona la tenuta di rotta dovuta ad una prua con un dritto molto I'm really impressed how it's holding the route mainly because of its very pointed bow. It's always balanced at whatever speed it goes thanks to three sets of sliders that run throughout the whole boat from the wheel at the bow to the transom at the stern. A contrastare la sbandata. In contrast to the crush, there's the edge of the hull, very accentuated, rather distant from the tubular saddle. Ho dato ancora un po' di gas. Siamo a 5000 giri minuto. I've put my foot down a bit more, and the engine's at 5000 revs per minute. And doing a few sums, the reduction ratio of this engine, 1.86, with the propeller we've mounted which is 17 inch, the fastest that we can go. In theory, it's 37 knots. Right now, though, the GPS is telling me we're doing 34 knots. We are very close to the theoretical limit, practically impossible to reach. But this isn't the maximum speed that the rip could get to. If I put down the throttle, raise the trim, let's see what we can do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 41 knots and 5,900 revs a minute with waves like these. A seven metre long rib which can go more than 40 knots has definitely earned the right to be called adrenaline.